stick with something. Being skinny and having abs. That sums it up. Because otherwise I hate myself. Can you see my goosebumps? <laughs> Had too many mental breakdowns. She said what you know about love. Hi. Happy Tuesday. <sighs> Whoa. I am so sore from yesterday's workout. I posted it on my Instagram. I wanted to start vlogging yesterday and then i just completely forgot so sorry but i'm starting today there's something about winter cold i wake up every morning with like a stuffy nose and i'm not sick so i don't understand also my skin is still having a meltdown i've got a little bit on this cheek my forehead's gotten a little bit better but this cheek has been consistently horrible <laughs> which is really fun I can't stop picking at it, which definitely doesn't help. I just blow my, blow my nose, by the way, that's why it's red. But I get such bad dry skin in my creases in winter. Also, because my skin has been so bad, I bought a night cream that had retinol in it because I've been trying to use retinol for a while, but my skin's been breaking out and I'm like, I wonder if it's just not liking the actives, like it doesn't like retinol. So I've stopped using that and just gone to regular moisturizer, but it's a daytime one and it's not moisturizing enough for nighttime. So I've been waking up with really dry skin. So I really need to buy that. But anyway, I'm getting ready now to go look at cars, which is exciting and different. I forgot that Ben wanted to go look at cars today. He's wanting to buy a new car. So no training for me today because I start work at 2.30 and I don't finish until 7.30. But we're going to go look at cars instead. So yeah, I've got to find something to wear right now. Probably just wear gym gear. And then I've also got to pack my work stuff because I'm going to go straight to work afterwards. I wish I didn't have to work. <laughs> like being an adult and having a job, disgusting. But also I do feel like I would get bored if I didn't have a job. Like sometimes I feel bored the amount that I'm working because I spend so much time training and then I just work. I work pretty much every day but just not for a long time and I feel a bit bored. So I'm like, imagine if I got my wish and I didn't have to work, I would be so bored all the time. But at the same time, I hate working. <laughs> make it make sense. I think I'm gonna wear my Muscle Nation flares because they're cute. They're still like active wear, but they're cute and I can just wear them to work afterwards. So I don't have to get changed. I wanna wear one of these long sleeve shirts that I got from Cotton On. But I don't know if they really go with the outfit. It's kind of cute. It's like Pilates yoga vibes. Maybe I'll wear this. Or should I go this colour? Mm, I'll just go the purple, I think. Purple, blue, I don't know. If I wear these, is that like too similar but not the same to my shirt? See, I feel like I love my pandas, but is it like I'm trying too hard? I feel like I'm trying too hard when I wear them. Whereas these are really cool, but like they're different. So it's like I'm not trying as hard. Does that make any sense? Or is that just so dumb? Why am I the worst at making decisions? I don't know, I'm going with the Adidas. <laughs> Or I could wear my New Balances. They're also really comfy. Maybe they will look cool. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick with something. <laughs> my hair probably needs a brush, but I don't want to go frizzy. I'm just gonna finger brush it. That is my go-to, because I can still get like the main, oh my God, there's so much hair coming out right now. The main tangles out but then it doesn't go frizzy. All right, does that look better? I think it does. Delicious. Honestly, sometimes I question how I have any hair left. I feel like I shed like a dog. <laughs> I know this is really bad for my pimples too, but I'm putting a little bit of concealer on because otherwise I hate myself. <laughs> Just on these ones. They're obviously still there, but just slightly less red. All right. 
Let's go. Good morning, queens. It's coffee time. I didn't really end up vlogging much yesterday because it was just such a overwhelming experience. <laughs> but it was fun. I knew that car salespeople were annoying and pushy and kind of like not great people. Like they just lie to you and well, not lie to you, but selective truths because <laughs> sales is their job. But it really just reminded me how annoying they are and how much I dislike them. Like I know it's your job, but like, oh, I don't know. I just find it really annoying. I've been struggling lately to find things that I want to eat for breakfast because I'm off eggs again. And they're just the easiest option. I don't like oats. I don't go to Coles often enough to always have enough fresh fruit for a yog bowl or for pancakes. And I need fresh fruit with them, although they don't like it. And I've gone back into feeling like all I want to eat for breakfast is coffee, <laughs> which is not a breakfast, but for so long, that's all I would have for breakfast. And then before I trained, I would probably have like two pieces of toast, but then I would train until like 2 p.m. Like that might be okay for a normal person to eat, but I'm training for like three hours. Heavy lifting, like high intensity, two pieces of toast is not enough food. And I knew it, but that's all I could bring myself to eat. If anything, like because all I wanted to eat was coffee. I've been so good recently at actually eating food every single morning, like a proper breakfast. And I breakfast has always been the thing that I've kind of found the most triggering, I guess. Like just because it is the hardest to eat and the easiest to skip. It's the hardest to eat because it's the easiest to skip. And I always used to skip it. And I've been struggling lately because I've gained weight again which is a good thing. I know I had have to. I knew I would have to when I decided that I was sick of living how I was, like always being sick, always being tired, feeling like absolute shit in my body and constantly fixating on food because I've tried to recover like twice before and both times I gained weight. So like I've been here before, but those other times when I realized that I gained weight, I just spiraled and restricted until I lost it again which I'm determined not to let myself do this time no matter how badly I want to I'm focusing on how much better I feel because I feel so much better rather than how my body looks I can still do all the good things that I want to be able to do in the gym I'm so strong I feel better in workouts it's just that I hyper fixate on being skinny and having abs and I have since I was literally like 14 and I had tumblr and thin spo was like a massive thing. I looked at anorexic girls for inspiration because that's what I wanted to look like. And it's really hard to change my thought patterns. Like that is still what I automatically think I want to look like. I just need to remind myself that that is not actually what I want to look like. I want to look strong. I want to have muscles. And if I did look like that, I would not be able to do any of the stuff that I like doing. I would be so weak. I would be so tired. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't have any strength, which is the thing that I probably love most about myself. So yeah, <laughs> I need to find something to eat for breakfast, basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> and sometimes I just need a reminder of why I eat breakfast. I had too many mental breakdowns to Ben over wanting to eat food, but not wanting to eat food. The poor man didn't understand a single one of them. I feel like being a man especially, they've never had any societal pressures to look skinny. I get that they've had societal pressures to look the opposite, like to not be skinny, but like it doesn't really, like you can't really relate unless you've been there and men have never understood and we'll never understand what it is like to be a woman and have all of those societal pressures that you feel your entire life. So yeah, he copped a lot of mental breakdowns from me. Handled it like a champ, but I do feel bad because he had no idea how to help me. But I'm better now. <laughs> Bless him. One thing I wish I could do, this is such a random topic change. <laughs> I wish I could sing. If I could sing, I would never shut the fuck up. I was just seeing everything. It's such a cool talent to be able to have. But instead, I sound like a dying cat. Not that it stops me though. <laughs> Maybe it should, but it never has. I, for someone who sucks and is aware that they suck, 
I love singing. <laughs> like I am singing all the time, not around people because I don't like to put people through that. <laughs> if I'm in the car, my favorite thing is not just listening to music, but singing to music. Like if it's a song that I enjoy, I want to be singing to it. It's just, it just hits different to be singing to it, but I need to have the music loud enough so that I can't hear myself. I need to be singing and like only hearing them. So I'm like, yes, I sound so good right now. <laughs> Even though I know I don't. See my goosebumps? You can't see them. All right, that's my um, Billie Eilish listen for the hour. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish Queen Charlotte. I'm on the last episode, which multiple people have told me is gonna make me cry. And I'm in the mood for that, so <laughs> I'm excited. Good morning, sunshine. So, um, it may not be Friday. That was not English. So it may or may not be Friday, and I may or may not have forgotten that I was vlogging. I'm really sorry about that. Had to pull out the big old winter Uggs this morning. They have a K on them. <laughs> I am in a strange mood. If my camera cutting off because my storage is full isn't a sign that whatever I was talking about wasn't important, I don't know what is. It's currently 6.25 a.m. and I am meant to be coaching, but no one showed up. <laughs> this is only the second time that this has happened to me in the year and a bit that I've been coaching here. And it's been 6 a.m. both times, in the middle of winter, both times. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know where everyone is, but they're not here today, which is actually perfect because I was gonna have to train between the 6 a.m. and the 9.30 a.m. classes. So now I just have an extra hour, or half an hour now that I've fucked around and eaten and stuff. To train, because then today we're going looking at cars again. I'm gonna test drive a couple cars. We're looking at a Triton and a D-Max today, I'm pretty sure. What am I gonna do? My training's been such a mess this week. I trained yesterday. I, I worked here from 7.30 to 11. And then I quickly went home and ate, trained, and then worked from 1 till 7.30 at my other job, which was exhausting. And all I had time for was one workout, but it was a dog of a workout. It was 1.6K run, 50 burpee pull-ups, and 1.6K run. And it was terrible. The burpee pull-ups, I, because we did a lot of toes to bar on Wednesday, and I was just fatigued and just like not good at burpee pull-ups. <laughs> it took me 10 minutes to do 50 burpee pull-ups, which is five a minute, which is... I would hear that and be like, I couldn't go that slow if I tried, but I managed it somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really tired today and quite sore because we, I rested Tuesday because we were looking at cars. So, training Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is gonna be interesting. And I just can't make up my mind on what to do because I've got like just random bits and pieces to fit in because I've got my grit stuff, which I have to kind of like cherry pick at the moment. And then I've also got my powerlifting slash bodybuilding program, but that's only three days this week because it's deloading. So <clears throat> I have a bit of flexibility with that, which is good. But yeah, I'm just gonna figure out and I'm like trying to introduce back skills for my shoulder because my shoulder's getting better quite nicely, which is so good. Um, so I'm starting to do some lifting again and doing more gymnastics, but just doing them as EMOMs for now. So just trying to make sure I fit all that in, plus all my rehab and enough cardio, because I am dedicated to being a cardio queen this winter. I'm trying to run more often, but that hasn't actually happened yet because I just haven't had the time fit it in or well, haven't prioritized it enough I guess I keep telling myself I need to wake up in the mornings and go for a run because I have plenty of time in the mornings to then come back eat and then do my other training but I just keep forgetting every morning I wake up and I forget so I'm meant to be running so the only running I've done this week was yesterday I'm gonna do some split jerks first no 
You know what? It's cold. I'm gonna do the workout first to warm myself up. My mum's actually getting married tomorrow. Just crazy, crazy weird thing that I never thought I would say. But yeah, that's exciting, but it means I don't have much time to train tomorrow. How rude of her. Interrupting my training. Joking. All right, what did I say I'm doing? The workout. <laughs> Now that I'm warm and my shoulders are warm, I'm gonna do some strict press and then split jerks. Because as I mentioned for my powerlifting slash bodybuilding, which is what the strict press is, I'm on deload this week. So I only have six by one at 65%, which is only like 30 kilos. I'm kind of reteaching myself at the moment how to press with my upper body. Because as I mentioned, I think last vlog, with my breathing, I do everything like this. And I do that when I breathe, but I also do that when I press. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm trying to reteach myself to like set my shoulders down and like use my lats and scaps and my upper back when I'm pressing rather than doing this. So everything I do, I'm just really intentionally pushing my shoulders down. It is so cold right now, hence I've had to put my jumper back on. It's 7.30, 3.2 feels like 1.7. That sums it up right there. But I see I decided I'm gonna try this disorder sample. It's got 400 milligrams of caffeine in it. And I probably could take that much, but I don't want to. I also microwaved my heat pack because my back is just a bit yucky. I did get my period last night, which is great because I wasn't sure and she's gonna come again. I don't even know how long it's been since my last period, let me check. So since coming off birth control, I had like a 34 day cycle and then the 35 day cycle. Then my last cycle was 46 days. So that was a long one. And I felt like I've had period symptoms for the last like three weeks, but no period. And I was just almost starting to get concerned, but I was also like, I've been on birth control for seven years. So I knew it was going to take some adjusting of my body. Um, swimming size is 22 grams, so I do 11. But yeah, I just woke up this morning and my back is like kind of always sore. I just have a dodgy back. I always have since I was like quite little and it just like seizes up randomly. So I've got to be really careful to do my mobility and everything. Um, and I also sleep on my tummy, which doesn't help at all because my back is like the whole night but i can't sleep unless it's on my tummy so don't know what i'm meant to do about that 
Anyway, that's enough period talk. Let's go to the gym.